YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Today is April 28th. I have been humbly quiet these last few weeks as I've been bombarded with different YouTube videos about what's going on in trucking. I've been doing YouTube videos for a long time and I started doing them so I can help people. I don't know if there's another black person on YouTube that has their own operating authority and that gives out the information that I give out to people who are interested. But what I do know is it's a lot of people on YouTube in the trucking space who putting out false information and bad information. And I don't know if the false information, if they like lying behind somebody else and it's what they believe. And I don't know if the bad information is just from them making videos based on their emotions. I'm not sure where it's coming from. But I'm starting to feel disrespected by these videos that people are making. So that brings me to this video right here. I would like to humbly ask that YouTube content creators in the trucking space only make videos about something that they know about. Let me elaborate on that a little bit. If you're not a broker, stop telling me that the broker is getting the same price that they were getting and keeping more money. There's no way for you to know that that's true. And I haven't seen anybody show me any evidence that supports that. And if you do want to make a video like that, all I ask is that you tell the people the difference between contracted freight and spot market freight. You tell the people about when the sales rep for a particular company gets called into that company and they say, look, start next quarter. We got another truck. We got another trucking company that can run this lane for this rate. Either you match this rate or we're going to give it to the other company. Tell them about when the broker get called up and they're like, hey, look, you got X amount of service failures. We cutting your rate. See, the problem I got with you, people who put these videos out, it's not so much of the bad information that you putting out there. It's the fact that you're not putting out enough accurate, good information. And I'm starting to take it personally because these this this is people's livelihood. And these people are believing you. So it's disrespectful to somebody like me who prides himself on putting out quality, truthful content. Every brokerage is not getting the same rate that they've been getting for these lows. You think these big companies sitting back like, oh, the rates dropped out there. They paying truck drivers less, but we still going to pay them the same price and they don't have no contract with them. Come on, man. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. If you don't know the difference between contractor freight and spot market freight, stop making videos about it. If you're not going to tell people that the prices on the spot market change every week, stop making videos about the rates on the spot market because you don't know what you're talking about. If you saying that we need the government to get involved to do X, Y, and Z about these cheap rates. Stop making videos. You don't think the government know that the truck, the, the people that's doing all the work are the least paid in this industry? What do you, what do you think deregulation was all about? You think if, if the government really cared, 
Don't you think they would have done something by now? You think nobody in the government knows what's going on? Nobody sees these rates. We the only people that see them. Come on, man. Stop it. Then I got I got people coming on YouTube telling people not to lease a truck. But they never leased a truck before in their life. How can you tell somebody that a lease is a bad idea when you never done? You know, I don't talk about leasing trucks. I never leased a truck. Can I look at a lease deal and say it might not work for me? Yes, but that don't mean it won't work for the next person. Man, it, it, it it's bothering me, y'all. And I, I'm asking y'all nicely because I'm at the point now where I'm going to take some time and start addressing all these videos. And if this video has made you think I was talking about you, I probably am. No doubt. Not going to sit here and call names, but if push come to shove and the, the content continues to be the same, then you leave me no choice. Stop it, man. Misinforming people. <laughs> the government. The government. This the same government who said that e-logs are going to make the roads safer. Oh, why don't you tell that to that family who lost them loved ones in that Tracy Morgan accident? Why don't you tell that to Tracy Morgan? This the same government who only require you to get your truck inspected once a year, but you can go to a scale and fail a level one inspection after you pass the DOT inspection that once a year. Stop it. The same government who suspended the hours, hours of service. So it's OK now to drive over those hours that was making the road so much safer. Come on, man. Stop playing with me, man, because like I really I really do YouTube videos to help people. So all I'm asking is that, you know, respect that, if nothing else. That, that That's all I'm asking, man. And. I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, well, I don't watch your channel, so I don't know what videos you make, but I guarantee you. If you put up my videos next to anybody else's who probably got triple the amount of videos I got, you can get more information in five minutes of my video than you could get watching eight, 300, 400 videos, however many they got, as far as how to be successful in trucking. <laughs> Again, I ask you, man, stop misinforming people with your YouTube videos take some type of ownership in the content that you putting out and i don't want to hear oh well i'm under the entertainment category stop it man stop it people are way too impressionable and people are believing everything they, they put in youtube they putting youtube personalities in the truck and spear up on a pedestal and believing every word that come out their mouth like they preachers in some congregation I ain't even going to call them preachers in some type of congregation. That's too much credit. They ain't following them like it's a cult and they the cult leader. And ain't nobody out there trying to help nobody else succeed that I have seen. If there's some videos out there where somebody is truly trying to help somebody, let me know. Because I, I would like to watch those videos and give the people the credit that they deserve. But so far, I haven't seen that. Case in point, I've seen some brokers come on here that claim they brokers. I don't know. And say that the brokers is keeping all the money because they still getting the same rate that they've been getting. Well, if you got contracted freight, ain't that what your contract state? I mean, so why compare contract to freight to the spot market? But, but, but follow me on this. If you really was on YouTube trying to be helpful, you'll be like, hey, look, for those in my area who can't find no freight, hey, let me hook you up to keep your truck moving because I'm still getting a good rate. Let me pass on a good rate to you because I'm out here to help people. I ain't seen it. If you didn't seen it, let me know. 
Other people will tell you, oh, don't buy this truck. Don't buy that truck. But they doing a video from a truck. If you ain't got no truck, how can they tell you what truck going to work for you when they don't know your entire situation? I don't tell people don't buy no truck. Don't buy that truck. I tell them it's money out here in truck and come get some. This is how you get it. Is it is is every day going to be a good day? Nope. Are you going to make money every day? Nope. But I guarantee if you ain't in corporate America somewhere, if you if you was making forty thousand dollars or less, do I think you could make more money trucking? Absolutely. Even with a lease purchase. Man. I think I'm just going to end it right there, man. Again, I'm, I'm humbly I'm humbly asking that y'all stop it, man. Stop it with the bad information. Stop it with the lies, man. Y'all, y'all messing with people with livelihood, and it's nobody who, it's nobody to tap y'all on the shoulder. But y'all getting, y'all getting real close though. Y'all getting real close to being tapped on the shoulder. And I don't want to turn my channel into no drama field channel, going back and forth with somebody because it ain't really. If it's a couple people out there that really can go toe to toe with me about trucking information with evidence to back it up and support it. I would be pleasantly surprised to meet those individuals. Your average personality on YouTube in the trucking space ain't, 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 ain't even half of a match for me as far as when it comes to information and running a trucking business. Share this out, man. Send it to everybody you think need to hear it because somebody, <laughs> that what the preachers be saying, somebody out there needed to hear this message. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of YouTube personalities out there that need to hear this message.